I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about alternating series. In problem number 55, we'd like to determine whether the following series converges absolutely, converges conditionally, or diverges. And here's the series we'd like to look at. We'd like to look at the sum k going from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k times tan inverse k over k cubed. All right, so the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to say, does this guy converge absolutely? So if I take out this negative one to the k, the alternating part, does this thing converge? And something that's worth noting is that tan inverse of a positive number is in fact positive. We know what the uh, function tan inverse looks like. Like if I have f of x equals tan inverse x, then it sort of looks like this, like this. I have an asymptote, I have an asymptote, and that asymptote's at pi over 2. This asymptote's at negative pi over 2. Okay, so this is f of x equals tan inverse of x. All right, so now uh, I want to know does this guy converge absolutely? So to figure out if this guy converges absolutely, I just need to get rid of the negatives. So I just get, need to get rid of this negative one to the k, because tan inverse of k, for k positive, it's always positive. So I want to consider um, the sum k going from one to infinity of tan inverse of k divided by k cubed. All right, so that is this exact series just written with everything positive. No negatives involved anymore in the terms. Well, what I see right off the bat is, first of all, it's kind of a mess having tan inverse of k in there. I'm not exactly sure to do what to do with this tan inverse of k, but if I look back up at my graph, I say, wait a second here, there's something that's always bigger than tan inverse of k, and that is pi over 2. Pi over 2 as a value is bigger than every value of tan inverse of k. So I could give an upper bound on tan inverse of k of pi over 2. Let me write it and show you what I mean. So we have that the sum k going from 1 to infinity of tan inverse of k over k cubed is uh, always less than or equal to the sum k going from 1 to infinity of tan inverse of k is always less than pi over 2 over k cubed. Well, pi over 2 times uh, divided by k cubed, I could bring the pi over 2 out of that summation, kind of factor it out, uh, and this guy is equal to pi over 2 times the sum k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k cubed. But the sum k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k cubed, that's a p-series, p equals 3, so this converges times pi over 2, that doesn't make a big difference, It this thing converges, this thing converges. So whatever this is with this tan inverse of k in there, it adds up to something positive, because these are all positives, or possibly infinity, but now we know it's not infinity because it's smaller than something that converges. This guy converges, so by comparison, this guy converges. And so I figured out that if I made all of these positive values, it converges, which tells me that this series converges absolutely. Okay. So my conclusion here is this guy converges absolutely. And 
we are done.